practical things that allowed them to make their tools as well as to make the things they wanted to make. Like almost all of them knew that I could take a compass and draw a circle and then a straight edge and draw a diameter through the center point of this circle and then just take a straight edge and draw another straight line that touches where this exits a circle and finally a third I'll make a triangle here where these two exit the circle and what I just did was I just created a right angle out of thin air without any kind of measurements. So then you could do this on a board and cut it off with a saw, and that gives me a master that I can use to make this thing. Because <laughs> you have to have something to reference this to. Now, just with a saw, you're not gonna get this perfectly square, but if I lay this on a piece of wood, a flat, a, straight piece of wood, like a straight edge here, and I scribe a line and flip it and scribe a parallel line. If they're close together, like that close, I can take a plane and I can tune this to within like a thousandths of an inch of being true square. You could also use this master to make a 45 degree miter gauge. I could lay that miter gauge on here, scribe a line, flip it, scribe another line, and if they're parallel, it's 45. If not, I can tune that. So, I, by knowing this, I can make this, I can make this, I can make a miter gauge, and on it just goes. It just, it keeps, all the tools we use, uh, not, not just layout tools, but also drills, planes, chisels, all that has this simple artisan geometry built into it. And if you understand it, you can make the tools, you can fix the tools, and and this applies to building also. It's all it's all it's a it's it's how our ancestors thought about design and built things. So and way simpler than a computer. <laughs>